and uh, this is uh, zinc and the daily time frame so we have seen some support and resistance so let me tell you so now we have seen price just drop down and bounce from this area drastically so we have seen they are acting as a supporting line and uh, similarly we have seen price again reverse from this area drastically so these two point we have seen very obvious now here we have seen some multiple rejection and here was rejection now it act as a supporting line here and the level of 183.26 so we have seen the forming a strong support are there and similarly we have seen uh, here we have seen some bullish candlestick pattern are there uh, i can say pin bar and uh, similarly we have seen yesterday they create a pin bar above this supporting line remember above this supporting line so when they are forming this type of pattern it is a probability to reverse back from this area I'm not talking they will go up to this area like that but they might give a correction from this area a little more because we know market never goes like a straight they always run like a wave right okay now by seeing this candlestick uh, just a minute let uh, let me zoom a little more and then now I can see yeah uh, it's visualizing properly right now uh, sorry by seeing this candlestick pattern we are expecting they will give a, a a little more retracement from this area but we never knows either they will reverse back or they will continue so by using candlestick pattern we will uh, uh, we can uh, enter trade by using some candlestick pattern so that will be all our probability right okay now we have seen here this candlestick pattern let me draw as a resistant line by connecting this point so have you seen uh, we have seen this is a higher point and we have seen some multi higher point are there higher point are there body are there so let me uh, adjust a little more here so exactly i connected this area so that means if price break this level so we can go for buy till this area not uh, we must close our position here uh, don't hold your position by expecting they will break this level like that don't do that so for the one or two rupees are there in a daily time frame so we'll close our position somewhere here right for the close let me draw this line somewhere here we will close our position by for intraday i'm drawing for intraday we never know about that one by right sometimes they are not able to uh, push the price by forming this type of candle again price drop down so i'll tell you how to enter for the sell direction but now we have seen the price is running just a minute price is running in this range right in this range and according to the moving average they are running in a downtrend okay remember in a large time frame downtrend we have seen still here there is confirmation but some reversal uh, not reversal some correction pattern we have seen in this area that is why i told if you wanna enter you just wait to break this level of 185 point uh, 85.7 right 185.7 if they break this level so you can go for buy till 187 up to 187 up to this level right for two rupees above not now because why because uh, most of the people are thinking hey this is the downtrend so how can i buy so by uh, by using this candlestick pattern i'm telling you so you can but uh, it will be very risky remember always place yourself and it will 
uh, you can say like this is counter trading right so counter trading is a little more risky okay so for the uh, for the sell direction you can see let me show you in a uh, four hour time frame now four hour time frame we have seen and uh, this point where i drawn this line around 185.7 it is above this 200 moving average see this 200 the price break this level and I remember right now how they are forming one thing if you want to buy above not below 185 remember don't do miss that mistake and now we uh, i always say once they break this any support or resistance again price reverse back suppose they broke this area and reverse back again to before they continue toward upside so similarly we have seen we have seen hanging man pattern so price drop down here they are trying to break this 200 moving average and after that finally they broke this area and now this 100 moving average form as a support and price push down toward this level All right most of the people are thinking hey they start uh, buying from this area still we are not getting any confirmation for the buy remember don't try to catch a running bus or anything right always wait for proper opportunity right so now we have seen this is a retracement and we have seen this is a uh, resistance zone so let me draw this zone so it will be very visualized when i go like that okay so just a minute in chart tool go to shape and draw this line Now we have seen this is a resistance zone. All right, why? Because I wanna connect this tail where it is forming near 200 moving average and body of this candle little more here. This body are forming a tail here. So we have seen this is a zone, but don't enter by seeing this zone. At least wait to break this level because if you want to enter here for the buy that means you are going to trade in a counter trader so now you can see according to a four hour time frame all moving average are arranging sequentially toward downside and have you seen this is uh, 150 are uh, still 50 are uh, below 150 moving average but remember by seeing this moving average we have seen uh, 200 moving average are uh, flat like here we have seen like a flat when they are running like that so it is confirming that trend is in a sideways in a four hour right but daily it is different right daily is still running in a downtrend and the four hour is flat now let's check in a small time frame for entry or exit now 15 minutes you can see here 15 minutes so it should look like that in a 15 minute time frame they are running in a downtrend right all moving averages are running in a downtrend and according to the price action method we have seen higher high higher low most of the people are doing big mistake here right now let me tell you we have seen this is a downtrend price pullback like that and again reverse from this area and most of the people are thinking here they are creating higher high higher low higher high higher low, and they will create new higher that means they start buying at that area so they think that according to the price action method the uptrend has begun right but remember that is the wrong concept the price still not able to uh, create new higher high and higher low why because in that case we always find out the territory of this area so we have seen this is the territory all right this is the territory we have seen this impulsive wave right this is impulsive wave now we can see this is called corrective wave they are not creating higher high even they are creating like that also they are not able to break this range that is why we are not 
recognize as a uh, uptrend in a small time frame by using price action method all right so in a downtrend we have seen price are bouncing from moving average 20 have you seen this is first bounce and then second bounce here and the third bounce who knows after reaching this area fourth bounce will be there right and still they are running below this resistance zone so buy is high risky so for the buy we have seen above this area above uh, 85 oh, sorry 185 so most of the people are entering here in this market for the buy buy in this area only because of fear of missing out don't do that right in that case now for the sell you must wait to appear a candlestick pattern which is called bearish candlestick pattern now we have seen here a bearish candlestick pattern are forming in this area that is called engulfing this is called tweezer pattern and here we have seen inside bar or you can say harami pattern and you have seen here what called this one inverted hammer right and now we are looking for here a uh, kicker candlestick pattern kicker that means uh, they are running bullish candle after that beer is candle and after that they are forming a kick out this candle so almost they are look like that once they form this type of candlestick pattern so we will start selling from this area so our target will be somewhere here previous lower point or how to identify the target so let me show you right now for the target you can place first place here previous lower point this is our target and the next you can say like you can draw like a uh, horizontal line by connecting this point and you just connect this lower point to lower point now you can see that means price is running like that and you enter for the sort here by using your analysis and the target will be second target will be here that is our target and sl you can place just a little more above there right and your trading ratio will be one is to one twice and thrice that means one is to three your trading ratio right up to this area that is called trading strategy all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe if you have any doubt Please leave a comment or evening session you just subscribe my another YouTube channel which is already given link in this uh, description below. So thanks for watching.